Welcome to the Active Controls YouTube channel. Today we're going to be covering our Active Start app. Within the app, you'll be able to connect to the device and monitor the, the voltage, current, and frequency of the device as well as fault monitor. To start, we're going to do add a device. When you do add a device, it's going to search for the available devices that's in the area. Once it finds a device, you're just going to touch the device. You're going to add the key. To find the key, it's located on the back of the device where there's a QR code and there's a MAC address on the top and it says key on the bottom. That's what you're going to need to enter into the device. Hint, we use a QR reader. That's why we have a QR code. If you use a QR reader, you can use a QR reader and just do paste. That solves a lot of issues with some of the fonts being used and the difference between a capital I and a lowercase l. That's all solved by using the QR code. Once you enter in the key, you press connect. Now you will see at the top of the screen, the device is connected because it has turned green. While you're here, go ahead and rename that device so that you're able to easily find it. Let's say, now that we've renamed it Active Controls, you'll see that it's Active Controls on the screen. Now, you go back to the main screen, now you can see what the product is actually drawing. 11 amps coming out of my pedestal over there is 120 volts, 60 hertz, and most important, we calculate the wattage. A lot of generators are based on telling you how many watts it can handle. Here we tell you how many watts your air conditioner is drawing. And if you had additional appliances, this would just increase by the amps and then your wattage as well. Here, resettable energy. Every hour, this number will increment. Okay. Total energy will be the running of this because resettable means you can reset it. Or when you unplug it and plug it back in, it will go back to zero. But total energy will always be counting up. Here you can see the temperature inside the box. And here you can see how many times it's detected a start. Right now we have two starts on the product. Settings is where you go to reset your energy meter. See the status of your built-in surge protection. The surge protection, if it was damaged would say not okay here power that's very important this is where you can fine-tune the device to work with the particular generator you're using or inverter here we have four settings and coming out next week this app will have an additional setting in the middle for a 3000 watt setting view this as different power outputs to help the generator soft start the product We've already covered the Bluetooth, where you can connect and add new devices, rename them, or in another case, you know what, you want to delete it, it disappears. We can delete a few of these. Lastly, you can go to the help menu where you can contact us. You can go visit our website. You can view our privacy policy on our website. Or you can call us. If you hit this, it will bring up the number and launch your, launch your phone. As well as if there are problems and you're having issues, you can always create a, a debug file. Note, you must be connected to the device to send me a debug file. When you do that, it will generate the file and then you will just put active controls at the top to sales or tech support and it will generate the debug file and send it to us. And that completes the process. Although at the very bottom, if I ever ask you, we have the firmware and software revision as well. The alarm bell is another item I forgot to mention. If there's ever an active alarm, this alarm bell will be red. When you press the button, it will show you what is the active alarm that's going on inside the unit. The unit automatically resets three times uh, for certain alarms like low voltage, high voltage, 
overcurrent. It will reset. It will try again three times. On the fourth one, you have to manually reset it, whether it's through the app, using the app to reset the alarm, or unplugging the unit and plugging it back in. Thank you for watching the Active Start app walkthrough. And if you'd like to stay up to date, press the bell on our YouTube page to get notifications on new videos. Subscribe to our channel. Thank you.